Chytrid fungus is a skin pathogen. It's had a particularly severe impact in Australia. We have about 240 frog species here, and 43 of those species have declined from chytrid fungus, of which seven of those species are extinct. It's resulted in the decline of 501 species right across the world. Well, normally when we think about diseases, we think about viruses or bacteria, but this is actually a fungal pathogen that essentially eats the skin of amphibians. A lot of work has been done on other invasive species like rats or cats or foxes and people know that they've had a really big impact on biodiversity across the world. And this work puts chytrid fungus up there with those worst invasive species. Humans are increasingly moving biological materials and plants and animals across the world at ever increasingly rapid rates and there's a big risk of spillover of pathogens. We need targeted conservation actions. In Australia we have a range of programs with the corroboree frogs in New South Wales and they've been really successful at preventing the extinction of those species and developing new reintroduction techniques to save species. What we've done here is created a platform for understanding which species are at highest risk of extinction in the next decade or two from chytrid fungus. And so this allows for targeted research to try to develop conservation actions for those species. This project has been led by the Australian National University but involved collaborations from across the world. So we had 41 different amphibian experts from throughout the world involved in this project and that really enabled us to get first-hand insights into what was happening on ground in all these different countries.